if you could have fought any fighter in your life, any weight, any era, who would you have picked that you would have liked to fight the most? Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> I love it. Why? Huh? You want to knock him out? Why? Well, I would have loved him before him. I wish he was my weight. <laughs> All right. Interesting answer. You have any advice for Mayweather? He's spending a lot of money right now. Have a, have a ball. Enjoy it, huh? That's what you do. <laughs> You know what's crazy? People are always in my fucking business worried about what I'm doing, what Floyd is doing, what Floyd ain't doing, what I do got, what I don't got. Just know, I'm gonna stay in my lane, I ain't gonna fuck with nobody, and I don't want nobody fucking with me. If I go on vacation, my fault. When I go on vacation for 30 days, I take 30 watches with me. But you know what, you know what? What's crazy is this. If we add 10 more days, I take 10 more watches. But then I say, fuck it. If I want to bring out the one and only, then I bring out the watch that costs 18 million. Matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? For you motherfucking haters today, I'm going to go fuck off $50,000 because I ain't got shit else to do. Money made all motherfucking day. Ali lost to a fighter with seven fights. When he, was, he lost his world title to a fighter with only seven fights. So these are the things that we don't look at. We don't only look at him standing for a cause, which is the great thing, because he still, if Ali didn't stand for that cause, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. So I have to take my hat off to Ali, but I didn't get his sport 40 years to say that there's another fighter better than me. What do you think about uh, Floyd talking about greater than Ali? He, he, he's very delusional. He can't listen. Um, if he, if he was anywhere near that, um, that realm of Grand Ali, he'd be able to take his kids to school by himself. Okay, he can't take, he can't take his kids to school by himself. And he's talking about he's great. Greatness is not guarding yourself from the people. Greatness is being accepted by the people. He can't take his kids alone to, to school by himself. He's a little scared man. He's a very small, scared man. There you go. Thank you, sir. This is just my opinion. You can tell me if I'm wrong that Mayweather now better win every fight by a knockout. Well, he's not going to win him by a knockout. That's not his style of fighting. Right. He has to beat them so clearly that it's just, um, there's no doubt that he won. So he's almost vulnerable to the possibility of having the fight taken from well, him. Well, he shouldn't if he have, a, if he has a close fight, if he has a close fight, he's going to have a problem. It's just so hard to beat him. I don't care. It's just really hard to beat him. You know, the style that he um, employs, it's just really difficult to beat him in that particular style. It's just, really, you know, I don't care, love him or hate him. He's a hard man to beat. How would you penetrate that style? Well, he, I can the shoulder roll and. Well, I, I would fight him differently. I would just, I, I even though I would fight a guy like um, Floyd differently if he was a heavyweight. I, you know, we can never fight, of course, because of the weight difference. But I, I wouldn't fight him the way they fought him. It's How just would you hard fight him? to fight him. I would be mean. I would be dirty because <laughs> you, you would have to do everything to fight him because he's just so good. You can't fight, it's almost impossible to fight him clean. Thank you, Mike. We will get to President Sulemon shortly. First, let's go now to another boxing legend joining us.